So, you know, you, have, you don't have too many techniques to work with. Basically, you have this and this, and then you have this, which is like a baseball stitch in baseball. And then you have this going in this direction, and if it moves, it does that. So you have life and death and various things. And then you have this line, which I like a lot, which is a general throwaway line. So anyway, if you start making a bunch of these things, and then you do them in different places, are we picking up? Yeah, we are. Good. Um, then, and of course lines, they can be physical, so these little things can touch that like that. You all draw like so, you'll see. And uh, then you get a bunch of these. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, let's do six. So that we've got six little characters, little groups. And then we've got to try to relate them. And this is just how the drawing goes. But you have to be respectful when you go from one group to the other. So if you get down here and you see that they're doing that, you have to do that too. Because even though you were like this up here, so if these go, if these go up here and they see that, they have to start to behave like that and say, okay. And even this guy, if he comes over here, he stops because that's like, you can't go over, that's disrespectful. And so, <laughs> so what you try to do is then behave as the others are behaving without losing your own identity completely. And you can hang around these for a while. You can even get influence this group to do something different if you want. And eventually, then there's, then there's nothing here. But remember the dot, like the Baha'i and the Baha'i faith, the dot is where God exists. So you have to have a few gods out there. And then you keep on going. And then when you get over here, you could go, oh, I see how you are. And then you try to connect the gods and make something more human out of it so that God is not too separate from you. And eventually, you keep going until it starts to look like something from your memory or your life. It's resem so that it resembles something with which you're familiar because you're a person who's gone through the world like anybody else. And you try to bring the world into your drawing instead of using drawing to replicate the world. That is how I like to think about it. So instead of using drawing to go and replicate the world, I like to say, I'm going to find some element of the world in the work if I, if I can. And that's pretty much it.